Hi, welcome to NetSet OS. First of all, Happy Holi. In this Holi festival, we will have a fresh topic, Matplotlib. So what is Matplotlib? Matplotlib is the technique to present the data in a pictorial or graphical format. As the data in a graphical format allows them to identify new trends and patterns easily. For example, as we are hearing the case of coronavirus. Here we can see top 10 countries with the most confirmed coronavirus case. And when we understand with the help of graph, it makes us a clear understanding that which areas are mostly affected. For understanding it better, let's go to Kaggle. Here I can see the data of all the countries which are affected by coronavirus. But if I am a data analyst, I need to present it more, more in the form of graphs so that it can give you a clear idea. So I presented this with the help of BigQuery where I took the data here and presented in the form of a graph where I can understand it clearly that mainland China is the one which is mostly affected. It gives me clarity because this enables the data scientist to use the new patterns from the data in the relevant places. Now if I want to present it in another form like scatter data, bar graph or histogram graph. So let us understand this with the help of matplotlib as it gives the clarity, accuracy and efficiency to present the data in a more clear way. So let's go to matplotlib. So we are in Jupyter notebook where first we need to import matplotlib.pyplot and here I'll take a variable plt which I'll be using it for plotting, for title, y label, x label and even for showing the graph. But if you are importing matplotlib for the first time, you need to go cmd for it and there you need to type pip install matplotlib. With this command, all the libraries related to matplotlib will get installed to your system. For this, make sure you have pip installed already in your system. I have given a series of number 1, 2, 3, 4 for plotting in a graph. So by default, it will take onto y axis. As we have drawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here we have starting on 1, then this is on 2, then on 2 index, it is on 3, then on 3rd, 4, and on 4th index, it is taking 5 number. So when we just simply give a single dimension, it will take it by default for y axis. Now if I need to give a title, I need to write for it plt.title so that I can get a title for it. Then if I need to give a y label or x label, I can simply write plt.y label as I have given numbers. So numbers will be on y axis and indices on x axis. Let's go down. Now if I give two x's for it, x a series of number 1, 2, 3, 4 and y has all its cube 1, 8, 27, 64. That too y on y axis and x on x axis. So for x label we have set as numbers and for y label we will set as cube. So for plotting we need to give plt.plot x comma y so that on x axis we will get all the numbers c1 then it is 2 then 3 with respect to 1 it is giving 1 for 2 it is below 10 so here it will be somewhere between 0 and 10 then for 3 it will be 27, so somewhere between 20 and 30. So with this, it will give you the graph by writing plt.show. 
this is for showing the graph which we got after plotting this x and y and we can also get graph now this is drawn on the empty background so here if i want grids let's see with more examples so for having grids here you can see there are grids in the background so for having grids we can write plt dot grid here we have drawn two lines with x1 y1 one line having two dimension x axis and y axis and for the second line x2 y2 where it is plotting and returning to the variable lines so that if we want to set the properties of line with respect to for example i want to take first line so x1 y1 is for first line and x2 y2 is setting the property for second line where first property will be taken with the zero index and the second line with the one so i can control line properties with the help of set p in set properties we can set the property of the line here we have taken line zero that is first line with color blue and line width should be 3.0 so here we have a blue line with width 3.0 because here we have two lines so as to differentiate between two lines we can give the different colors here for the second line we have given the color green and its width 3.0 then we gave plt dot grid so as to have the grids in the background and so as to show on jupyter notebook we can write it over here plt dot show and if i want to change the property of grid i can write it over here i want grid so i'll write true with color to be let's say brown when i run this i'll get all the grid color to be brown similarly i can change the property of lines here now with the help of numpy here we have np dot a range from 0 to 1 with the interval of 0.05 plot x line and y line should be power of 2 where i have given the title as graph and grids should be there in the background so for this here it took from 0 to 1 and in the interval of 0.05 it has plotted in the form of exponential line not only lines you can also draw any shape in which you want to plot you can give over here for example here we have x axis and then y axis with this we have given ro ro stands for red in color and dot in shape so here we got dot in shape where we have x axis as 5 and y axis that means it's square to be on y axis so here it is dot apart from this we can give y label to be on y axis as squares x label to be numbers and the title of the graph we can give by plt dot title now here if i want to give grid so we have given grid in the background now apart from this if i want to give another shape for example here we have b b stands for blue in color and this exponential sign stands for triangle so here it is plotted with blue triangle then rs rs stands for red in color and it should be square and g dash dash is green in color with hyphen sign and if you see the graph carefully here we have the labels where triangle stands for power of 3 square stands for power of 3.5 and hyphen stands for power of 3.7 so these are the legends so for this we need to give plt dot legend so as to get which shape is representing what we can get answer by legends this is helpful for any graph to understand it better so for this we need to give label whatever is there in the 
apostrophe will be represented in the legend. Don't forget to give this legend plt dot legend after writing these labels. Now you can see plt dot grid. I want color to be black. Here you can set grid color also. Then we have two lines plotted over here where we have set the properties with the help of set p. First line x1 y1 and second line x2 y2. And color is equal to g and line width to be 4. So whichever is green line with the thick line width is our first line. Now if you can see it carefully here we have represented in different styles. This is our MATLAB way of writing where we have color comma r it will take color to be red and line width to be 2.5. Instead of writing equal to we can give comma. So when I run this we will get green color line and red color line so as to understand which color represent which line. So it gives us clear understanding. Now if we see more. Here we have represented with the line. Now if we want to represent with bar graph. We can simply give its x-axis and y-axis and for second x-axis and y-axis. For the first we have taken by default and second we customized it with red color so as to have a clear understanding which bar is representing what. So if I want to customize first bar I can write it as color is equal to black. When I run this I'll get first bar to be black and second with red. Here we had single plot in a graph. Now what if we have multiple plots in multiple figures. So for this here we will take two functions s1 and s2 with respect to their sine and cos functions. Here I have taken for both sine and here we have taken np for numpy a range from 0 to 2 with the interval of 0 0.01. First of all we have created first figure. In first figure subplot s211. 2 stands for 2 rows where we have first row and second row and one column and this one stands for first subplot and the second one the second subplot. So for representing 211, 211 stands for this first subplot where it says to plot t s1 function with red dot. Red dot red in color and dot in shape. So this is red in color and dot in shape. Here we got the sign graph and 212 stands for two rows, one column and the second subplot, this one. So here it has drawn 2 into S1 function and color it has taken by default so with this we can have two subplots in a single figure. Now if we want to plot multiple figures at a time. We can say to plot first figure first. So first figure it will draw a single figure here and it says to draw subplot on 211. So 211 will be 1, 2 row and this one 1 column and here we will take the first subplot. So here it says to draw 1, 2, 3. So here we will have 1, 2, 3 as we have drawn here. Then it says to go to 2, 1, 2. 2, 1, 2 is 1 and second row on which first column on second subplot. So on second subplot it asks to draw 4, 10, then 16 and then 3 as it has been drawn here. Now it says to create another figure. So it will take second figure here and it says to draw 2, 7, 16 and then 12. So here if we see with the first figure it also has 
second figure now if i just remembered that i need to give a title for figure 1 so what i'll do i'll go to figure 1 plt dot figure 1 and on that i will go to plt dot subplot 211 because i need to create a title for subplot 211 that is for this and we'll give plt dot title my graph and then i'll ask plot to show so plt dot show now when i run this i'll get my graph on first subplot now let's see how we can read a png file so for this we need to import matplotlib.pyplot and also for reading a png file we should import matplotlib.image and for reading png file i can give a variable which i have defined over here img.imread and a location where this png file is in my system so this is the location for png file for showing image we will use plt.imshow and photo as i have given the variable as it is returning to photo variable so here we can show image so as to get and read a png file on jupyter now let's see how we can add pseudo color to this for this first we need to read as we did before and then we need to write photo and a slicing this is a variable and here we want all over the photo so we will return in photo one and then we will ask plt.imshow photo one so this is how we can add pseudo color to an image now let's see how we can read a csv file here i have taken covid19 cases file which was in my system and it was there somewhere in pictures this data i have fetched from kaggle and this is the sample data to understand this plotting of data in real time so for fetching csv file we have imported pandas and stored it in the data frame called df and then we took total number of cases on y-axis and countries to be on x-axis as we have given plt dot bar so this graph is represented in the bar form where we can see mainland china has the most cases then japan and then thailand and then south korea now instead of this if i want to write scatter so as to get my data in the scatter form so for this i'll run this here you can see the first dot is there at the top which has the most cases it signifies that mainland china country has the most cases then in japan and then thailand and then south korea so this is how we can represent the data in a more understandable way we can have a clear idea that what this data is signifying and this is where matplotlib come into existence so i'll be coming up with more content and in the next video i will be representing this covid 19 case with the help of bigquery in the google cloud so stay tuned and happy holy once again thank you thanks for watching drop a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe.